Heard Chris, today is going to be one of the coldest days of the year, and as far as sunshine, practically non-existent. Don't let that give you a false sense of security when it comes to protecting your skin from dangerous UV rays. Dr. Aaron Chen is a slew care dermatologist and dermatologic oncologist here to talk more about it. So you check for skin cancer is what yes. you do. Uh -huh. Yeah, and a lot of people tend to kind of let that go by the wayside in the winter right. time. We get a false sense of security, you think? Exactly. It's easy to ignore your skin in the winter. It's covered up for the most part. You're not seeing it. No one else is seeing it. Um, but we still need to every day take care of our skin. Um, and I actually brought my own personal regimen here to share with yeah, you today. Yeah, some of this is empty. Yeah, yes. I noticed I'm, I'm even saying, <laughs> your skin is beautiful, well, actually. thank you. I here appreciate it. I, I try to practice what I preach here. Yeah, so okay. So we've got... This is great. This is a Vaseline um, all over body balm. Yeah. And essentially it's like Vaseline in a stick. So for travel or anything like that, you, you can use put it, for it all lip over. Balm, exactly. Lip your balm, elbows, your face, heels. anywhere that's dry. So it's nice and easy. What nice else? Easy. We, we've seen this stuff, this moisturizing cream, yes. the CeraVe. Does that have a sunscreen in it? It does not. But it's a good moisturizer after you shower. It's pretty easy to put on. It's okay. quick. That's what we need in the winter. Just something to quickly put on after our shower. Well, pretty much a lot of stuff has sunscreen in it now, your moisturizer, your tints, your, your makeup even. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? So it depends on what it's in. Like something like this um, is kind of a moisturizer and also has sunscreen as well. But don't rely on the foundation for your SPF coverage. Okay. Because usually you have to load it on to actually get the number that's on the bottle. And it's a time of the year also where, you know, we're not out in the sunshine, but we, we should be doing those mold checks, exactly. right? Exactly. So once and there's, a month. Yeah, there's something called the ABCDE guide. Yes. What is that? So you use the ABCD guide when you do your monthly check. So the A is asymmetry. So if any kind of a skin lesion that you have is not symmetrical from side to side, top mm -hmm. to bottom, that's something you should be aware of. Borders, the border should be nice and regular and smooth. Mm -hmm. um, and C, color, um, the color should be uniform from side to side. D is diameter, anything more than about the size of a pencil eraser should catch your eye. And then E is one of the most important ones, it's evolving. So do your spots change or um, do they stay looking the same way as they always have? And my husband is very annoyed by me when I go, let me do a mole check on your back. Because you can't see your yes, back, right? No, get a good hand mirror and use it in your bathroom mirror. And have your spouse or your exactly. significant other check you. Is it something we should check for in children as well? Or is it just an adult thing? You know, children are expected to get more moles. Their stuff will change. Um, but if anything is kind of growing out of proportion to them, if there's anything that looks different than the rest of their spots, those are things you should definitely get checked out. All right, so just because we're in the deep of winter doesn't exactly. necessarily mean we have to forget about our skin. <laughs> Always a great reminder for us to, you know, re-up our, our moisturizer, things like that. So right. thank you for joining us. Oh, and if you have like a changing mole or something you might have a question about, we'll have a link for you on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. Thanks for coming in, Doc. My pleasure, Appreciate thank it. you. Time to take a break.